Hello everybody, Princess and Barry here, and we're back at Islands Adventure. To go to Three Broomsticks? Three Broomsticks has another vegan option different than the one that we just had at um, the Cauldron. Yeah, so this plant-based item is popping up all over the place. I'm on to you, Universal. You're not listening to me, you're listening to somebody, but at least you're listening. So uh, let's go hop on the broom and get some sticks. Be sure to be a plant-based wizard. You heard that. You're a wizard. Here we have a rather uh, large little cucumbery icebergy salad while I sit at my little kid's table chair. I feel like this chair is like stupid low compared to some of the other places we've been to. And since I am a dunker and not a pourer, I'm going to dunk my salad in this dressing. too much oregano in the dressing it just kills everything else I don't like the salad but the veggies are nice like they're fresh at least I just don't like the dressing one and a half out of five salads this does not toss my salad mm -hmm. never figure out Universal's uh, Civil War game is so weird I do not like salads at the Harry Potter Wizarding World restaurants. Uh, this whole tomato thing just does not fit well with me. And then like these oversized cucumbers and I mean you already chopped with the rest of the salad unless it's a bag salad which I have accused you guys of before. I'm probably accusing you of again already before I even taste it. Uh, but, but whose mouth size is this designed for? I'm a bear, and I'm not trying to open my mouth that wide for a cucumber. What I'm trying to say is, long and short, is your salads are a choke hazard. And your tomatoes suck. Like, a lot. Alright, I'm over it. Do a huge dunk over here. Well, the bright side is I can't accuse you of unwashed lettuce this time because I can't taste it. Because there is so much oregano in there, I feel like I just licked the ground. It's like oregano in oil and nothing else in this dressing. Uh, if you're an oregano fan, I suppose yay for you. For the rest of us, um, maybe skip the dressing or skip the salad altogether, maybe. I don't really know what you're thinking of that, Universal. I'd say, uh, one under five pounds for me, it's barely edible. All right, now we have this um, jackfruit mushroom pot pie. We got these beautiful little stew in here. This is a whole piece of jackfruit right here. Like, couldn't you have um, chopped this up a little bit? I feel the need. Woo! Putting this on my salad, I guess. I feel the need to chop up this this jackfruit so that I can enjoy it properly. If you're going to cook jackfruit, you need to shred it. You don't just put whole pieces of jackfruit in here. Come on, Universal. All right. I'm gonna try the innards by himself first. A spoon. It tastes 
like a stew. Like a rather nice stew, actually. And I'm going to have it with the um, innards. Or the top, I guess. So the innards by themselves, I'm gonna give like a, a two and a half out of five. They're all right. I'd probably add some pepper to it. Give it a little bit of oomph. And then I think it'd be decent. The pastry on the top is amazing. I'm gonna give that like a four and a half out of five. Overall, I'm gonna give this dish a three. This is an excellent option compared to what we had in the past. No complaints from me. I just wish it had just a little bit more love. Chop up your jackfruit. Give us a little less oregano style dressing. And really go like all in, not half in. But considering what we had before to this, this is like leaps and bounds better. So I'm gonna give it a four, four out of five overall. I think that's fair. And I'm gonna try to convince Bear not to eat too much of this like top because the pastry part is my favorite. Everything else that we've had in Wizarding World, this vegan pastry part is like, yay yell. It's my favorite part. I want all the breads. You have this, uh, I don't know, it's not just universal because they have the same problem at Disney. Our vision our ultimate vision of what is considered to be a pot pie are vastly different. Uh, yes, this is a pot. Yes, this is technically a pie top on the top. But as a boy who was raised somewhat south, uh, where is the crust inside the like the filling? The filling should be inside of the pie, not just a pie top and then a pot. It's too literal, far too literal. Luckily, they actually do have spoons at this table. We went to uh, Leaky Cauldron, they didn't have any. So at least I can try to eat stew with an actual spoon. Or filling, or whatever this is supposed to be over here. Go ahead and give it a, let's see if we can save some of the jackfruit that the princess chopped up in here. I think we got a bit. And an oversized potato. It is piping hot. As it should be. And I still burn my tongue. Oh, it's very nicely seasoned, it's very evenly seasoned. Maybe a little heavy in the pepper. I can feel the burn in the back of my throat, not in a good way, like maybe over peppered it a little bit. But it's a it's a kick, it's not gonna kill you. Go ahead and break off some of this bread. For the princess uh, doesn't let us have any more. These pie crusts make me wonder. Universal, if you can do pie crusts this well, why are your rolls so terrible? This makes a lot of sense because these pastry toppings, even the one that was on the pasty pie, delicious. Your rolls, when you serve them in like, terrible, terrible. This is solid. Well, I'm not going to go as far as call it a pot pie, but I'm going to say it's a solid plant-based dish and above average compared to what they've had there in the past. I am glad to see Wizarding World opening up its dietary means uh, for more plant-based people. I am impressed. I am not wowed, but I am impressed. Three and a half out of five plus. So I got a rib platter. And I guess I didn't think about the term platter meant. Uh, whole corn with the the leaves all shucked up on here. It's well presented. But it's really annoying to carry when you're being stabbed in the side or the face or whatever by these. Uh, they gave you a ton of butter if you want to put butter on your your uh, corn. I don't really need those. I guess you can put them in your potatoes as well. So this platter is literally just ribs, corn, and potatoes. So if you're a meat and potatoes guy, you're probably going to be good with this. Let's uh, stab one of these potatoes here first. 
they look kind of oily. Some herbs on it. I don't know if you guys can see the herbs. Little green specks in there. I promise you it's not dirt. Huh? Those could have been cooked just a little bit longer. They're still like, uh, they're cooked through, but still like huge chunks that like don't chew easy. Flavor's there though. I'll give that a consistency sort of pass, but the flavor on them, you got no problems there. Three out of five claws. I already assumed that this is gonna be something extremely messy. Since I have to eat both corn and ribs with my bare hands, I suppose there's some civilized way to do it without, you know, the fork and maybe a knife, but I'm a bear. And we used to be one of the land. So I'm gonna take this big corn husk here. I'm just gonna give her a bite. Love bite. Maybe. I would say slightly overcooked. It's cooked. There's like half a step from being bone dry. There's like no juices when you bite into it. And all the, the, the uh, cornmeal is like shriveled and there's like no juice inside. Is that why you would put butter on it? In that case, I assume most people would put butter on anything. Butter on it. I, however, don't like most of my food slathered with butter. A little bit of butter here and there, but like slathered is, is too much for me. It's good corn, but you almost mess this up. How you mess up corn? I don't know. Give it three out of five claws. And as for the ribs, and this is a $19 plate. You get what looks to be six bones, bay back ribs. Looks to be like a nice uh, barbecue sauce on it. I uh, have harked on how much I will be upset if you mess up my ribs. Um, if you guys have been here for a while, you have seen that I have still, to this day, to this day, and it's probably been almost two years, not forgiven ABC Comedy for the ribs they ruined for me. Uh, there's a great chance that if these ribs are bad, I will be coming back to three room six for a very, very long time. And if I do, I will be extremely bitter about it. And they're at least juicy. They're well sauced. Don't let me down, guys. Okay. All right. That is a rib. All off the bone, juicy, nicely sauced. It even got a little bit of char on it. That's stand up ribs. Now, not my grandmother's ribs, but they're pretty good. Um, I was expecting extreme disappointment. That's a little bit of light in there for me. Four to five claws. This is much better than most of the ribs I've had at Disney. So uh, you want your ribs? I'm universal. The wizard's brew for the short wizard and you, because no younglings will be harmed in the making of this video. Nutty. Almost Newcastle-y, but not as like dark and strong. Not mad at it. Two and a half out of five hops. Not my go-to beer, but I'm not a go-to beer person. I would rather have me some Jameson. Wasn't gonna have ribs and not have a tasty cold malt beverage, or not malt, hoppy beverage to watch it down with. Uh, a nice tall wizard brew. Now we've had this beer several times here. Uh, the beers, Wizard World, they're okay. Uh, I like Dragon Scale better, but Wizarding Brew, can't go wrong with that. Got some layers. Sort of weedy. Not bad. It will pair well with the ribs. Three out of five plus. I feel like this has been a week of me eating my words. I have to say, as a non-mushroom person, the option here, the pot pie thingy at Leaky Cauldron was pot probably pie 
whatever it is. <laughs> it was probably my favorite new option available in Wizarding World it for fun, vegans. It finally feels like a viable landish for even a plant based people. Jackfruit wasn't shredded, I shredded it to myself and I mixed it with the mushroom. And even though I hate mushrooms, like a, the texture just really bothers me. I, I, every dish that I have had this last week with mushrooms in it from Universal here, the texture of the mushrooms has been so palatable that I haven't really had an issue with eating mushrooms. I appreciate it. I do. I definitely think it was a good meal. Much improved. Kudos to Universal for getting more plant-based options in your parks. You did one step, now I want to see more. Has this convinced you that the Wizarding World of Harry Potter is finally a place for plant-based people to come to eat? I need you to let me know, yes or no, in the comments. If there's anywhere else you think does it better, I also need to know that down below. So hit, we can go there. Yes. So hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday. We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. And like this video. And if you don't comment, Bear will never watch another Harry Potter movie or read another Harry Potter book or immerse himself in the Harry Potter lore including video games ever again he cuts himself off i mean i've never played any the harry potter video games anyway so they were great on ps1 i'm probably not missing anything but she's still lying though but you heard the girl he he's going to be hurt if you don't comment he needs your comments and your likes that part's probably true Ah, there you go. Good.